I made a video the other day that had a lot going on. It had music. Hooray for Christmas. It had characters. All I want for Christmas is you. It had theatrics. I hate the season. My body's freezing. And it had vampires. <laughs> If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave links to it on screen or down below. Now the video revolved around a song that I had written, but the audio didn't end there. Once I started putting the video together, I had to put a soundscape together to start accenting the things that were going on on screen. Audio production is one of those things that sometimes gets ignored, but can really take your video to the next level. Now I don't always have time to record all the sound effects that I might need for a video like this. So this is where relying on an asset house, in this case, Storyblocks, to find the kinds of sound effects that I might need really makes my workflow much simpler and faster. Here are eight places in that video where I use sound effects to improve the soundscaping and hopefully make the viewing experience even better. Let me know how many of these you spotted. In the song itself, I needed the sound of sleigh bells and I didn't own any sleigh bells. But I went over to Storyblocks and they had the sound of someone shaking sleigh bells. In this case, the shaking didn't match the beat of the song, so I took one particular shake of the bells and I clipped that out and then repeated it inside of my digital audio workstation. And that allowed me to make it sound like someone was shaking sleigh bells to the beat of the song. You're gonna find you might have to do this a lot. You'll find a sound effect that's very close to what you need, but it's not quite there and you might need to change it or augment it in some way to have it make sense for your particular video production. The second place where I used an audio effect was probably a little more obvious. I had a calendar of a little kitty that said 1994 underneath, and I wanted to animate that cat and make it come to life. And in doing so, I wanted to be able to make it meow. So I had to find a meowing sound, and sure enough, back over on Storyblocks, they did have different cat sounds. Interestingly enough, I like the fake cat sounds more than I like their real cat sounds, because it just seemed to make sense for the timing, pitch, and timbre of the song itself. So I downloaded a bunch, but this one was the one that I ended up using in the song. Now, a little later in that video, I have a scene where the family's coming over and the kids are there and they're complaining and fighting. So I wanted to introduce the actual sounds of kids screaming. So on Storyblocks, I was able to find a few different samples of kids kind of screaming into microphones and yelling. So I took some of the ones that I liked and I even changed the pitch of some so it sounded like two different kids, not just one kid's voice. I separated them, chose them, and then I put the timing in so that hopefully it worked with the song now, I do have to take a moment to thank our sponsors today. Number one, Black Magic Design, the makers of DaVinci Resolve. Thank you so much for sponsoring content on my channel and allowing me to help other people learn to use the software as well. But a sponsor that really helped me out making this most recent video, Storyblocks. Storyblocks is an affordable asset house where you can get things like B-roll, music, sound effects and images that you can use royalty free in your next YouTube video. And Storyblocks just added an entire section of templates specifically for DaVinci Resolve. These include animated titles, transitions, motion graphics, and more. Now I've been using Storyblocks for years before they ever became a sponsor on the channel, mostly because I really like the quality of the product and how well it helps me with my workflow. I also really like the fact that for one affordable price, you can get access to as many assets as you need there. And there are no download limits about how many high quality videos that you can use at any given time period, or how many images or many pieces of music or sound effects or templates that you can download from Storyblocks. One price gets you access to as much as you need. I'll leave a link down below if you wanna go check out Storyblocks for yourself today. Now, right after that scene, I have two beers, one in each hand, and I actually pop the tops off of those. I'd like to tell you that I can pop the top of a beer off with each thumb, but realistically what we did was we had originally popped the tops off, got rid of the beer and replaced it with ginger ale, and then pushed those back on so they were a little looser and I could pop them to the beat of the song. Now I had a little fizzy spray effect to go with it, but in the audio section, I was actually able to find the sounds of beer bottles being popped open. So I just timed those with each bottle opening up, found the right level, and all of that really helped to elevate that section to the next level. Now, the minute those two beers were open, the next scene, I was pouring them all over my head. And in the background of that, I actually slid in a very subtle sound of two samples, both of wine being poured out of bottles, so that there was this subtle sound of actually beer pouring out of the bottles going on just behind the track itself. 
Now, there's another scene where I take a wooden match and I light one of those scented pine tree car fresheners on fire, but I wanted to have the entire frame of the scene ignite with flames as well. Now, once again, it was important to me to have that be timed to the music so it fell on a beat to make a lot of sense. But then I had to figure out what sounds would go along with this fire. Now, right where the flames appear, I was able to find this sound effect from Storyblocks of flames whooshing and igniting, almost like when you first light a gas grill. Well, once the flames are actually burning, I wanted to have more of a fire burning sound, so I found a campfire sound effect of flames lightly burning wood and crackling in the background. And those two sounds mixed really well together to create this effect. Now there's a line in the video about Christmas songs feeling like arrows hitting between my ears. So I wanted to try to bring that to life while holding arrows and have one actually feel like it shot and stuck between my ears. Those arrows were actually all together and they were a wall decoration. I cut them all apart and I made a headband and attached one of them to it to make it look like it was shooting through my head. I just put that on my head and leaned to one side as I'm singing the lyrics and I cut between those two frames so it suddenly looks like I'm being hit with an arrow, but I wanted the sound effect to go with it to really emphasize what was happening there. I was able to find this story block sound effect of an arrow hitting wood. That's probably what my head would sound like if an arrow hit it, wood. And it really helped push that scene forward. They feel like arrows shooting right between my ears. Now near the end of the video, the girls were blowing these gold sparkles right at the lens of the camera. That was an idea they came up with, which I thought was awesome. But I wanted to see how I could really accentuate that. We actually added in a little extra animated sparkle effect, but I'm thinking, what does that sound like? What does sparkle sound like being blown into the lens of a camera? And I thought maybe a kind of a Christmassy, chimey, shimmering, sparkling sound. And sure enough, Storyblocks had one. All I did was layer that in as the girls were blowing those sparkles into the camera lens and it worked out perfectly. Now at the very end of the video, I actually had some text appear on screen but I wanted to elevate that even more with some audio effects. So I found two sound effects here. One was the sound of an old school typewriter just being typed. But back in the day, those old typewriters used to have to return the ribbon when you'd get to the end of typing on the page. You'd have to grab a bar, push it back, and reset the next line you were going to type. And it had a very specific sound. And because there were two lines I was writing on screen, one where I said, happy holidays to everybody, and then I added in below it, love Daniel, I thought it would be fun to have the typing sounds go along with the words being written on screen, and then in between have that typewriter return bar go back to make it feel like someone was typing those words right onto the screen. 